I didn't want to be a rock star. I didn't want to be a movie star. I want to be a health-based culinary expert, a cook star, and so can you. Hi, I'm Remy of Cook Time with Remy, and welcome to Chef Club Box Fresh. Today, we're gonna make Moroccan meatball tagine with lemon couscous and a minted yogurt. But first, let's take a look at our ingredients. So of course, in our bag, we have our recipe card, and here are our ingredients for our tagine, our onion, celery, carrot, basics for a nice mirepoix, and of course, our fresh cilantro. And then we have all the stuff we need for our meatballs, our eggs, onion, breadcrumbs, of course, our couscous, then a nice little lemon, our diced tomatoes, and our bag of all of our spices, our saffron, turmeric, cinnamon, nutmeg, everything you need in here. And of course, our ground beef. It's very important to prepare all of your ingredients before you start cooking. And on the back of your recipe card has the ingredients with the instructions on how to prepare them. So I'll go do that, you do it too, and we'll meet right back. So for our first step, we're gonna head over to the stove. Step one. We're going to add some oil into my Dutch oven here. And we're gonna make sure you have it on medium heat. Then we're gonna add some garlic. I'm gonna get ready for the sizzle. I love that noise. Get some onion. There we go. Celery. And carrots. Our little mirror claw plus garlic. And then turn it down a little bit. You just want to saute your vegetables for about two minutes, at least until they get soft. And as always, we're going to season a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm actually going to add a little bit more oil in there. Oh, I love that smell. Let them saute for a little bit longer until they can get soft. Step two, we're going to go ahead and add our beef broccoli. Watch your head on this one because it's looking very hot. Then we're going to add our cilantro, get all of that in there, make it nice and fragrant. And our spices, we have some saffron here, we have turmeric, we also have cinnamon. So it's going to be a lot, it's a little sweet flavor there and some awesome color. And then we have our diced tomatoes. We want to keep the juice on these because we want all the moisture that we can get in there. I'm just going to stir this up and make sure everything is well incorporated. Again, we're going to add some more salt and pepper because you want to season as you go. And always remember, you got to taste it too. Or you can smell it like I do. Just, I love smelling this dish. And we're going to actually bring the heat up on this guy and bring it up to a boil for now. And then once it gets to a boil, we're going to bring it down to a simmer. But now over to this hot plate, I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy on. And we're going to boil our water and make our couscous. And so for the couscous, it's actually going to be a lemony couscous. So in order to do that, I actually have some lemon juice already here. And we're going to add just a teensy bit of oil to the water. And that sort of prevents the um, really granules of the couscous from clumping together because that's not really a texture you want for this dish. Just a little drop of oil. So we're going to go ahead, we have our lemon juice in there, our oil, I'm going to go ahead and add our actual couscous now. So what you want to do with this guy, you're going to make sure it's well incorporated, the liquid, with the um, couscous. And then you're going to put oil, and then you're just going to cover it with the lid, and turn it off. And then you let that steam for about five-ish minutes, or at least according to package instructions. And so this guy is actually boiling already, so we're going to go ahead and bring him down and go back over and make our meatballs. Step three, let's make our meatballs. So what I have already is uh, my ground beef in my bowl here. I'm going to go ahead and add our panko, our egg, which I've already cracked to spare any humiliation just in case. We have our onion, let's get all that little guy and some chopped up cilantro because you can never get enough cilantro and then our spices so for this they all look very similar but they're very different we have cumin and cinnamon and nutmeg so you have a nice nutty and sweet flavor in there fun fact a lot of Moroccan chefs actually have something called Ross al Ghanout, which is like their own um, spice mix usually consisting from 20 to 40 spices I mean I only have three and that's a lot of flavor already 
I'm going to add some salt and pepper in here. And then, so the thing with the meatballs is that whenever you're incorporating it, you want it to be very soft with it because otherwise your meat can get really tough and then you'll have tough meatballs and that just doesn't taste very good. And actually, you know, sometimes you just got to ditch the spoon because it just gets in the way. So just use your hands, make sure the spices get into that meat, sort of massage it of sorts. And everything is nice and incorporated so you want your onions to be in there. And this smells good too. I mean, it's weird to smell raw meat, but it still smells good. So we got our mixture just about together now. Our eggs, everything good. So now we're going to make the actual meatballs part. So we're going to get about a nice little handful here. You want to make meatballs are about one and a half inch wide. And at least I am it. No bad. We're going to put them on the plate here. And I love making meatballs. It's just super, you literally just like put meat between your hands and make a ball. So this is especially fun for any younger kids out there who aren't really familiar with like like using the stove or hot appliances yet is something easy that you get started with. Oh, I love smiling. I'm gonna keep smiling. I think that's weird. Also, fun fact though is that Moroccans are huge in hospitality and they love doing big feasts and big meals. And that's why I love this tagine. Really, it's like a family meal. You just get your meatballs out of the Dutch oven. Everybody's having a fun time around the table. <laughs> so we have our meatballs done, and we're gonna go back over to our Dutch oven. So now we're going to go ahead and add our meatballs to our mixture. You want to be very careful here because you don't want any of the mixture splashing on you because it is hot. But so we're just going to place them on top right now and then I'll actually get my spoon and sort of incorporate them in there better. And you might have to do some shifting around just because they might not get covered with the juice and that's really what you're aiming for here. So I'm actually going to get my little spoon here and make sure this guy goes down, make sure they all go down. So we're pressing the sides, clear, clear some room. And so we're going to cover this and let it sit on simmer for about 25 minutes. That way the meatballs can really cook through and get that flavor that you, I smell the least. And now we're going to go back over there and make our yogurt sauce, but I'm going to wash my hands first. Step four. Now this is my favorite step. It's very complex. So if you just take about a tablespoon of mint, you have some plain yogurt here, and you put it in there like that. It takes a lot of hard thought. You know, you sort of have to think it over, make sure everything's good. Just kidding. I'm just, I'm just gonna mix this together like that. And you wanna make sure the mint really does get well incorporated though, because the yogurt can have that minty flavor that really complements the couscous and the tagine whenever it's done. So just make sure it's well mixed. It's a very important task. That's your mint yogurt. Step five, we're gonna finish off our tagine by adding some spinach. You wanna do this at the very end so that way the spinach does not get wilted and super just mushy. I'm just gonna put that in there. It will wilt on its own. You don't need to really push it in there. And then we're going to just go ahead and put the lid back on. That will steam it nicely. Still keep a little bit of crunch that you want. And then we're actually going to go ahead and bring over our things. So our couscous is finished. So we're going to just bring this guy over here. And then we're going to actually turn this off and bring over our tagine. I think it smells like a pot. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. The first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to finish off our couscous. We have some lemon here and we have a zester and you're actually going to add a little bit of lemon zest in there. And this really helps get that concentrated lemon flavor that you want. So we're going to add this in there. Ugh, I want to smell lemon too. I think it's just so very aromatic. And that is how you know you're doing it well. So I'm going to get my... I'm actually going to use this fork. I'm going to sort of fluff up this couscous. So we're going to move over this stuff, and we're going to bring our bowl closer. We're going to get our couscous, which I'm going to use my fork with. And we're going to get a sizable amount there. Oops, try to, try to prevent mess, but it's also me, so it's like a given. And so then I'm actually going to take a little divot in my couscous here. This is for um, most likely like picture effects, because whenever you place the meatballs off, they might roll down, and that doesn't look too pretty. So we're going to get a nice little, almost like a dugout-ish. And then we're going to go ahead and get our meatballs. So we get these guys. Oh, these look so good. And they smell so good. See, the dip it works like perfectly. So let's get another one because they're just amazing. And usually do not touch hot food, but just be very careful with this if you want to make it look really pretty. 
And then we're gonna get our vegetables here. We have some carrots. I love the color orange. They really make it pop. Just put those on top. They might roll down. You can't really do much about that. And they're carrots. They're shattered. That, that doesn't make sense. And then we're gonna get some spinach. We get some green on there. Make it look really pretty. And then we're gonna top it off with our yogurt sauce. So we're gonna get a good size dollop on top. Aha! And then garnish with some parsley, as I do with basically everything. And it just adds really nice pop of green. As you can see with this, the carrots, since um, they were cooked, they weren't cooked too long and they're cooked in turmeric, they still have their bright orange color and they'll be nice and tender. And then the spinach since adding at the end, it still has a bright pop to it. And now for my favorite time of cooking, the taste test. Let's get everything on one fork, which is the hardest part I think about cooking. I know this. That is so good. Especially with the spices and the meatballs where they shine through and they complement with the spices and the sauce and the crunchiness of the carrots is just enough Oh my God, everything, it just tastes so good. So I definitely recommend that you make this at home. And thank you for cooking with me. We'll see you next time. With a lemony, oh, couscous. It's <laughs> a funny word. I need to get all my jiggles out. I was like, eh. okay.